In the Corga Basics video, we already covered how to deploy your Corga project for the Java Virtual Machine and for JavaScript and for the native target. And this video will cover how to deploy your project for the Android target. So for this, I just opened the Corgi Hello World project by using the IntelliJ plugin. If you don't know how to get here, just look at the Corgi basics video I just mentioned. So the only thing we have to do is click on run Android emulator debug or run Android emulator release. This, I will choose debug for this video. And uh, I just said that we only have to click this, but if you're clicking this for the first time, there are actually some additional steps that you have to take. Let me show you. The problem we are facing is that we don't have any connected devices. That means in our case that no Android emulator is installed and furthermore, most probably there isn't even an Android SDK installed. To change this, we have to do the following steps. You click on IntelliJ Preferences. On Windows, it will be called File and Settings. And here you go under Appearance and Behavior, System Settings, Android SDK. And there you can see that there is no Android SDK defined at the moment. To change that, we just click on Edit and choose an Android SDK. So there is an SDK detected on my system but uh, we will install the one which is supposed to be installed here. And for this, we just go next. Let them finish the downloads and do the installing. After it finished, we click on finish. And now we have an Android SDK installed. We can click on OK. And let's run emulate the debug again. And as we can see, again, no connected devices. We now have an SDK, but we don't have an emulator installed yet. To change that, we have to install the emulator with the Android Virtual Device Manager. So we just get on this looking glass and search for ABD. And there it is, the ABD Manager. And there is no virtual device installed, so let's just create one. And there you have plenty of choices what to use. Can TV, phone, whereas we, of course, choose a phone. Um, let's stay with the Pixel 2. Just click on Next. And um, you can also choose the system image. So which Android version you actually want to test it on. So there is uh, API level 29. It's already selected, so let's keep it that way. We don't need to change anything here. Let's just click on Finish, and then it will download and install the Android, um, the, Android the image for this, for this phone, which is 513 megabyte here. So, and we can also run it. And there it is. Just move it over here and wait until it finished booting. Now we have our device simulator running, so we can close the device manager here. Just place this nicely on the screen. And when we now launch it, it should just run on the emulator. So actually it doesn't, it says it's an error. Uh, let me check something. Okay, one thing that you should always check is when uh, using Kotlin and specifically when compiling for Android, uh, you have to choose the right SDK version. And I think this error might be due to the wrong SDK version. It's 11 here and uh, let's choose 1.8, which should be better for compatibility, compatibility reasons. So let's see if this fixes the problem.
Oh, and now as we can see, it just runs fine on the Android target. After we installed the Android SDK, after we installed and configured the virtual device we actually want to run it on, and one of the most important things uh, after we switch to Java SDK 1.8. So always keep this in mind if you face problems and it should be able to fix at least some of them.